Well, the proposed new bridge over I-5 is now one step closer to becoming reality. Today, the Senate here in Oregon authorized funding for Oregon's share of the Columbia River crossing. Coin 6 News reporter Tim Becker is live in Salem today, where some protesters made a last-ditch effort to keep this all from happening, right, Tim? Yeah, that is correct, Kelly. Now, the protesters rode their bicycles all the way from Portland down here to Salem this morning, not just to protest the idea of a new bridge and the millions of dollars of expenses that would go with it, but also, they say, to protest what they believe is the fact that citizens didn't have enough say-so in the approval process. Well, they're starting their voting at 11. Dan Kaufman and several others rode 50 miles this morning to be heard. Part of why we're here today is to, to say, hey, if we don't have any referendum, we need you to know that we are not happy about this. And with that, Mr. President, I will be a yes vote on House Bill 2800A. Once inside the state capitol, the protesters watched as senators debated and then voted to approve the $450 million expense for Oregon's half of the new I-5 bridge. But I think the project the project overall will be a great bolster to Oregon's economy. Boy, I've never seen business and industry and labor come together behind something like this. 18 high votes. House Bill 2800, we have received a constant majority, is declared passed. In the end, senators voted 18 to 11 to pass the bill, which the governor is expected now to sign into law. When that happens, the Department of Transportation will issue bonds to raise the money. If funding falls into place, construction could begin later this year. It's not what Kaufman and the others cycle. 50 miles to hear. I'm very disappointed about the vote. We all are. But you know what? Democracy is not a spectator sport. We have to be here. We have to let them know that we are watching and paying attention. Well, protesters argue that there just wasn't enough time or there weren't enough avenues for the public to really be heard on this issue. They say lawmakers are just railroading this project and the funds that go with it through without any, uh, well, without very little uh, public oversight. Reporting for you live in Salem, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.